Hey guys, it's been a while since I've recorded a video for you, um, but I wanted to walk through your new packet with you. We sent you guys some fun new things. Um, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about them and the activities we have planned to do with them. Um, so first you'll find this graphing page and it comes with stickers. So you're going to um, go through all the stickers and decide which shape they fit under. There's rectangle, circle, square, triangle, and oval. So as you pull something off, you can name it like this is a pizza, it's a circle, and put it under the circles. And that'll be a fun activity that you can do. Um, if you're a sibling, there should be two in there so that each of you guys um, can do one, two pre-K kiddos can do one. Okay, next we got you um, a booklet and it's just a notebook paper that you can draw or write in. You can practice your letters or your names. You could also use this kind of like a journal if you wanted to write down things that you want to remember, like something that happened today or something that was special about this week. Um, that would be great to use. It gives you some writing paper. And then we sent you some markers. You might have got fat ones or skinny ones. Um, the store didn't have enough of all the same. Um, and this way you can practice some more writing. These are washable markers, um, but they are for paper. Um, so use your markers and make sure you close the lids when you're done so they stay good and usable. Oh, I didn't bring out my dice. All right, inside you have these um, cards and they go in the dice, but the trouble is they're a little too big. So you're gonna have to trim them and dice are an awesome way to practice your numbers and practice quantifying. So first we have the numbers like one um, and then we have the dots. Um, you can match them up, see if you can put the one with the one and the two with the two dots and the three with the three dots. Um, you can also slide them into your dice after you trim them and um, do lots of different dice games. Um, so it's fun to practice in that way. And we've put those in our lesson plans. We also got you some sidewalk chalk and sidewalk chalk is a really great way to get outside and do some drawing or writing. Um, you can also do some movement activities with sidewalk chalk. You can make a hopscotch. My boys have done like a little obstacle course um, on the sidewalk, lots of fun things. And then to go along with that, sidewalk chalk comes off with water. So we gave you a little paintbrush. You can maybe write your name on the sidewalk and then get your paintbrush wet and make your name disappear or make your picture disappear by putting water on it. Um, good fine motor test to practice. And then last, a preschool favorite. We got everybody some bubbles. And bubbles are um, not only just a fun toy, but they're really building some skills. So um, coordination of dipping that back into the container um, and then using your oral motor skills to blow bubbles is um, tricky, especially for some younger kiddos that are just three. Um, it's a great way to practice, um, you know, making your mouth do what you want it to. Um, so I hope you guys have some fun with bubbles. You can also chase the bubbles, pop the bubbles, um, do all sorts of fun stuff. So I hope that um, a new packet of some fun toys rejuvenates you for the last two weeks of um, e-learning. And if you have any questions about any of your material, um, just let me know. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.